What's the most widely detested profession? Economists? <coughs> Wrong. It's politicians. Well, maybe tabloid journalists will get a look in these days. But undoubtedly up there in the League of Hate would come speculators. Nobody likes speculators. They're detested. Let's look at them closely. What does a speculator actually do? A speculator can buy futures, for example. A speculator might say to a farmer, I'll buy your crop, the one that's coming in the autumn, but I'll pay you money now in the spring. Farming is quite a risky business. You, you plant your crops and you, you've no idea what the weather will be like, or what, what the market will be like by the time you come to sell them in the autumn. If a speculator buys a future on your crop, you get the certainty of a fixed price now, and you can plan. A businessman might want to do business abroad and not know what he's going to have to pay for his imports because he doesn't know how the currencies might fluctuate. He might be someone who's selling goods abroad and doesn't know how much his, his goods will be worth in his own currency. The speculator comes in and says, I'll give you this price for your currency in the future and the uncertainty is replaced by security. The speculator manages risk. People say it's just like gambling at a roulette wheel, isn't it? No, it's not. You see, if the house is honest, then the outcome of a roulette wheel is pure chance. But the outcome of the future isn't pure chance, and the speculator might be quite good at calculating the odds. Before he gives the farmer that price in the spring for his autumn crop, the speculator looks at what the weather is likely to be, looks at how many crops other farmers are producing. He wants to know the likely price he'll be getting in the autumn, and then he can offer the farmer a price in the spring that'll allow for a little profit. Likewise in currencies, he looks at the trading position of different countries and calculates how their currencies might move in the intervening space. Then he can offer the businessman a fixed price for currency, hoping that he'll be proved correct and be able to make a profit on the deal. Speculators basically are in the business of risk. They're good at it, and unlike the poor farmer and the small businessman, a speculator can afford to take losses. That's what they do. They calculate as long as their wins are greater than their losses, they'll make a living from it. So let us now raise the speculator from the ranks of a mere parasitic gambler who makes money out of other people's misfortune to someone who in fact is a skilled manager of risk, who helps other people put security and certainty into what would otherwise be very risky transactions. The speculator oils the wheels of business and commerce, and that's why they make their profit. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.